Morning, Coach by Christian. Hello, um, welcome to another video. It's about half six in the morning. I'm getting ready to train, so I'm gonna do like a full day of eating on a training day. I'm also gonna go around my new gym, my home gym, some of the equipment I bought. I've still got some more stuff coming, but most of the stuff is in there now, so we can do a little gym tour. Um, and I'll just go through my whole day and what we're doing at the moment um, with everything. So yeah, I'm up. I got up about quarter past six. My first port of call is get hydrated. So also new product from Strom, Strom is Hydromax. So it's kind of been designed for anyone that experiences like lower back pumps, like powerlifters, people that train, everyone really. Um, I do like two or three sevens a day, but since taking it, okay, I said to, I always say to Rick, if there's a product to use, I don't, it doesn't work, I ain't going to use it, okay, I'm a fucking addicted to it, because, especially at the moment, everyone's got a barbell in it, pretty much, to train, loads of people doing like lower back loading movements, squats, bent over rows, T-bar rows, deads, my back always fucking hurts, now it doesn't, it's fucking weird, man. <laughs> Like, it just works. Um, so if you want to use it, buy it. Um, use Carbs and Cars on the checkout. You get free delivery. Uh, you normally get back the next day as well. So first up is get hydrated. And then I'll down about a litre of water as well. Delicious. Um, very delicious flavour. So yeah, I'm going to get to the gym. Home gym. And I've also, I've saved a story that I did on my Instagram because it was funny and... Loads of people were fucking reacting to it, like saying it was hilarious. So I saved it so I can put it on here of the absolute annoyance of trying to get the fucking equipment in the garage and that I cut my ball sack doing it. Um, you'll find out when, when we get on there. So I'll drink this. I'm going to take Luna for a quick walk and then we'll head. I'll go for my intro, post workout, all that sort of shit. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Video. Catch you in the next video. So back from a walk with Luna. Next up will be pre-workout, which I'll have strong on the way to the gym. Uh, one scoop of Stimmy Max Black, especially on like an empty stomach, fucks you up, man. It's sick. Uh, and one scoop of Glycicize, which is like a kind of pump cell swelling formula from Cardiff Sports Nutrition. And then... Again, as I'm driving to the gym, I'll start sipping on my intra, which at the moment is 75 gram of carbs from Carbomax, which is Carbolin. Um, 15 gram of EAAs from Essential Max, 10, uh, 5 gram of creatine from Creamax, and a scoop of Ascomax, and some salt. 3 gram of pink salt. So yeah, that's the next things. Um, so 75 carb intra, and then drive to the gym now and I'll catch you at the gym. I'll put up the story of me trying to get the gym together after this. So flash back to like over a week ago. My face. I'm not a happy person right now. I'm like fucking black all over. My clothes are ruined. I didn't catch that. Could you try again? Siri didn't catch that. Sorry. Oh fuck off. Um the machines are built, one of them is. The leg extension, there's two bolts, and they literally will not line up. And I hate giving up, but I've been doing it for three hours, and I'm sick of it. I've, I need a fucking meal, I'm fucking starving. And, to line up. and it's fucking pissed me off, I've bled a lot. The whole weight stack of one of the machines fell on me and trapped me up the corner. I've been bleeding a lot from everywhere. After the weight stack fell on me and pinned me up the wall. My stomach is bleeding, okay? Pretty much where my penis is and my ball sack are bleeding, yeah, from it. And it really hurt, but I soldiered on. And I still can't fucking get the one machine to fucking work. 
because of these two bolts that won't lie. So I'm giving up for now. I'm gonna go home and eat. Probably cry. I, d I feel like having a cry. I hate giving up. I'm re I'm coming back at midnight. And I like it. everyone that has an appreciation for the garage and the equipment I bought. But if I don't know you and you're saying, can I come round for a session? Being serious. I haven't bought all this equipment so you I can, can use it, you moron. No. Or oh, do you need a training partner, bro? Not with you, I don't. No. It's funny on a lighter note because I've calmed down a bit now from all my war wounds. Um, imagine when we look back when we're older and we're like, oh, do you remember 2020 when I built my own fucking gym in the garage? Another point made to me by a follower, which is great. The social distancing. Yeah. Come round my house, use my equipment and infect my family. Fuck off. This is the last story I'm doing of me talking at the camera. My mum and dad have just rang and said, we've got the fucking bolts in. It's like, as soon as you left, we would have made it our mission to get it done. I could fucking cry, man. Mum and dad. Well, I say that. My dad said, I didn't do anything. Mum did it all. She, like, took a hammer to the bolts to bend them to get them in. Probably fucked it, but she says, I've done a leg extension on it. It works. Honestly. Look at my face, man. I'm going to do a leg extension this weekend. <laughs> I'm a bit emasculated that my mum did it and I didn't. Fuck it. Firstly, welcome. So, this is the garage setup currently. So, got a Weeder USA leg extension. Seat seen better days. Doesn't make any fucking difference, I don't care. Sissy squat, I've got that new. Pretty cheap. Um, I think that's great as well, budget wise. Because um, it burns your fucking quads up. We've got seated ham again. Seat seen better days, but it fucking works. And hamstring exercises has been difficult with bands and stuff. We've got abductor slash adductor. This is a I can't remember the fucking brand. That Pulse Fitness. It's from like the eighties. Went to really good. We've got a lawnmower there for for rowing. Um, that's a joke. Um, adjustable squat rack. So I can bench, incline bench, and then squat, etc. Um, adjustable bench. I've got a landmine attachment there so I can do T-bar rows, belts, etc. Plates, up to like 300 kilo. Some adjustable dumbbells there. However, I've got some adjustable dumbbells coming. I'm not going to say where from because I don't want to slow down my order, but I've got them fucking real cheap. They're from a powerlifting company. They're adjustable dumbbells, but they go all the way up to 60 kilo a dumbbell. Um, for I don't care about saying it, but 190 quid, which I don't think is bad, especially they're a powerlifting company, they're fucking proper. So essentially I'll have a set of 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s and 60s for 190 quid. I think that's a deal, mate. Um, I can't wait to dumbbell press because I am not a good barbell presser. But yeah, that's the, that's the setup. I fucking love it in here. It's sick. Got one of my old plates up there when I used to think I was cool. CC's too low. Yay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna train and stop waffling off. And got my um my squat shoes here. Yeah, these are my squat shoes here. So you join me. Post workout. Um so where the fuck have I put that? Shake. So I get home. I shower, I get changed. I put a hat on because my hair is fucking dead trim. Lockdown gang. Beard though. <sighs> Shoot. Um, support Max Neuro. Pineapple is the one. So I have about nine scoops of that in there. Nah, I have a very heaped scoop in there just to chill me out post-workout. And then post-workout meal currently is 300 carb. Well, it's about just over 300 carb if you count some trace. It's about 94 gram of protein. It's 60 gram of protein from a whole source, which is Greek yogurt and whey. Then it's like 11 fat, so it's like 1750 calories post-workout. Um, so I'm getting it from 400 gram Greek yogurt, okay? 25 gram of whey to make up the extra protein, okay? That goes in this bowl, 250 gram of raspberries, and 
I'm telling you now, I don't know why I love this. It's fucking really good. Dried fruit, gang. Um, special K red berries. I have 110 gram of that. Followed with 90 gram of Choco Wheaties, Aldi gang. Um, seven apple and cinnamon Kalo rice cakes. Shout out Dan Bastic fucking getting me on these. These are insanely good. <laughs> really good. And then I'll have three slices of cinnamon and raisin toasty loaf. Ramkin selection is the make. They are so good. Um, get them from Waitrose because I'm a posh cunt. Um, so yeah, Aldi and Waitrose getting hit up weekly. Um, so yeah, that'll be post-workout meal. I'm gonna start toasting them now and uh, show you the meal when it's done. So yeah, this is how the meal looks. I wanted to show you because these are unreal. Bit of butter spray on there. Incredible, mate. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this now. I'm gonna whack the TV on. Luna's fucking dead. Back at it, meal two. So, yeah. Wait, it's gone. Um, cream of rice, 150 gram. This is the birthday cake flavor. Okay, with 85 gram Velocity Way rhubarb and custard. Those two together is fucking really sweet. Um, but I like sweet, so I like it all right. Um, 250 gram of the co-op summer fruits. This is a lovely medley of fruit we've got here. We've got raspberries, blackberries, black currants, red currants. It's just an array of um, nutrients there. And then topped with, fuck. Um, <laughs> that was good. Um, bon my man, berries and cherries. Okay, don't at me, that's the best flavor. Someone said, oh, fig, bro. No, I think that was Rob Price. Oh, I've got to try the fig. Ugh, nah. And then, here's one I made earlier. In the old, that is a bucket of cream of rice, bro. So, three gram of pink salt, sodium pump, sodium gains, all that, bro. Hydration. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat it, please. So, joining me, meal three. I forgot to say as well, macros of meal two. I know people are gonna ask, you didn't say, bro. Um, fucking burnt myself as well. Um, just over 150 carb, 60 gram protein from whey, but with all the trace, it's like 75. Um, and less than five fat. Um, so meal free, I've just rustled up. Fuck, is that blood? No. Nah. Um, <laughs> this is a shit video. I don't know why people are watching. So, in the glass bowl. By the way, glass Tupperware is the only Tupperware that counts. We've got no time for plastic. So we've got 250 gram of uncooked white chicken. Um, so 60 gram protein from chicken. I've been using these. I either go rice or these. Um, straight to wok, Amoy rice noodles. Um, if you use code um, Coach by Christian at Tesco checkouts, you get absolutely fuck all off these, but uh, they're really good. So I have 250 gram of them, uncooked. Uh, 160 gram of pineapple. So chicken, rice noodle, pineapple. And I've got veg in there. So veg wise, I've got lettuce, mushroom, red onion, tomatoes, and courgette. Five, bro. About half a kilo of veg. I don't track the veg. I just keep it consistent all year round. Um, so that's 75 gram of carbs, 60 protein, followed fat from Trace. So I've had no direct fats yet. Sauce wise, sriracha, everyone knows about that. Okay, not many people know about this. Yellow mustard, honey. Honey, bro. It's fucking money though, this. <laughs> oh, fuck it up. Eminem over here. Um, yeah, it's unreal. Um, really good, like a, I can't describe it. It's like honey mustard, funnily enough. So I'm gonna eat this now, and then meet you at meal four, and then I'll meet you at meal five. I've burnt myself, man, pissed. Hello, back at you with meal four. So I vary this meal up the most, um, because it's 60 protein, 10 fat. Um, so I really like to, 
change my protein sources all the time, just do a bit something a bit different. So normally I'll either have some wild caught pink salmon. By the way, if you want a cheap pink salmon that's wild caught, Aldi do a tinned one and it's fucking really good. Um, so I have that with like a mix of chicken. Or I'll do chicken with a couple of whole eggs, duck eggs or some free range Burford Browns. Shout out to George. George. Shout out George Osborne. Uh, what the fuck is that going from? Um, well, yeah, shout out George. Today though, I've got good edit. Some flat iron steak. Okay. Um, so 180 gram of that. 85 gram of chicken, get 60 protein, 10 fat. Um, so, yeah, that's that. So, again, in the bowl. So, steak, chicken, veggies. So what I try to do, which is quite a good idea for people as well, every time you go to a shop, buy something different. Buy a different source of veg that you've never had before. Buy a different fruit that you've never had before. Buy a different protein source you've never had before. I haven't had this before. Taste it, let's see what it's like. You know what I mean? Um, so every time I go to the shop and try and pick something different, um, just to vary things up, keep things interesting. Just a little tip there. Get yeah, coached by Christian Chip. Really embarrassed I did that Irish accent. So last minute of the day, 85 gram of whey as a cake. Okay. Um, with 35 gram of nut butter. I have got shitload to get through from Chris. He sent me from, some from America. This is the best one in the world, okay? Marinantha, I've got some on here. Dark, creamy dark chocolate almond butter. Absolute crack cocaine. And then 425 gram of forest fruits from Co-op. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna have a little chat with you as well. I'm gonna chat to you. Yeah, I said I was gonna speak after, but I completely forgot what I was gonna talk about. So, I'm just walking Luna. Um, so yeah, food, all in. Oh shit, there's a cat. Fucking hell. Oh, no, Luna, chill the fuck out. <laughs> I hope there was genuine fear in my face then. She's a bit fucking aggressive, man. Luna, chill out, bro. Come on. Um, yeah, so, food hasn't changed since the push-up. Oi! Um, and cardio has been taken out last week. That was it. I'm going to go because she's fucking doing me head in. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Um, don't be like Brandon Harden. Hope you're having a fucking shit day, mate.